it though? It is, but it's a reflection of the fact that America focuses on greed and capitalism and as opposed to trade. industry. But then it goes back to the other thing with supply chain. You know, these Gore-Tex AJ ones I want. <laughs> like from you know, Nike has um got, got shortages now because Everybody, yeah. 90% of the manufacturing is in Vietnam. Yeah, they can't get the shit here. They can't get it here. Oh. They ain't got enough truckers wow. there. They ain't got enough no truckers truck here. here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I've yeah. worked in logistics. Yeah, it's, yeah. Get, your yeah. Emergency, get your emergency supplies together because they, they, they talked about this before there was the supply chain issue. I'm not saying that this is some Ralph Epperson New World Order or some it Gold Hell horse shit. But we're already they, 1984. They said that mm. they were going that people were gonna there was gonna be shortages, but they didn't. And they were they said this at a time when there were no shortages, there were no known issues. Right, right, right. So right, it was right, one of them right, things right, where it's right. like a lot of under this. The, no, under the, yeah, whoop, there's whoop. a lot of things going on. We don't know about what what the intentions are and what's the rationality. So for me, when people say conspiracy theory, what we're really saying is we don't know the reason behind what's happening. And it makes you uncomfortable to think that it might be intentional by people in power. Yeah, well then, it, it, oh, yeah. it goes to the green to the top. I'm saying like for real. So all, I, I say all that just to, just to just to be the fly nerd um, service <laughs> announcement right now. But no, that's exactly it. That's exactly it. Get into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah but then, when, when when you get uncomfortable, there's no certainty. And they're telling you things that just don't add up consistently. Exactly. And then when you look in history, how we're being treated as a people, mm -hmm. you get departmentalized it that way. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And 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 it goes beyond color lines, being able in the disenfranchised. Like it breaks down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But you know the haves versus the have-nots and how you treated by being a have-not. Even a have-not that's like slightly above water, you feel that shit, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because, hold on, hold on. What? Right. <laughs> <laughs> touch but, fingers. But, but, right, touch, 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 touch. <laughs> but even then, it's broken down to how can I rise above this? Because we're in a capitalistic society that works against us exactly. and not for us. In theory, it's supposed to be for everybody because the money circulates. Mm, right. But it circulates it's, with agenda. It, it's held at the top. It, it depends. It's, it circulates with agenda. It depends on what type of capitalism because you could do democratic socialism like what they do in Denmark where McDonald's workers make $25 an hour and they have strict, strong worker unions. But we in America where they make well, America, tea, America you know I mean? is always going to be a mass bottom. It's, it's exactly. going to be just like that Transformer scene. The only good line out of uh, Revenge of the Fallen or whichever one was terrible. <laughs> they, they were say, all terrible. Yeah. They but were like, all terrible. But, but the line that Linda Nimoy said, like, uh, well, somebody said, like, what do Earth has that Cybertron doesn't have? Seven, seven billion workers. Yeah. So it's That's all it's the about. people on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because they need, they need, they need seven human, they need billion. human Who capital. Who said that? <laughs> yeah, that was, that was Megatron. 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 Megatron was, yeah. <laughs> but that Megatron was that, uh, the other one I couldn't tell who the hell he was. What, Galvatron? Yeah. No, it was that other dude. <laughs> we, the, the, the Fallen. Yeah. The oh, fallen. Tony Todd. Oh. Was it Tony Todd? No, it was, uh, I thought it was Leonard Nemo. I, I thought that was the last one he did. Who was Leonard Nemo in that movie? He was Galvatron, wasn't he? What? Was he? I did not know that. Yeah, he was in that. there. Yeah. Well, he was he was Galvatron in Transformers the movie 1986. Yeah, yeah I he know was it. Galvatron yeah. in um in the Revenge of the Fallen. I did not know that. He did the voice. Well, that's, I must have blanked said to, on that one because that movie said, was so bad. He said the needs of a few. They all together. What he said, he said, said, um, the, needs <laughs> <laughs> he said um, said, um, the needs of a few outweigh that of the many. That's, that was Leonard Nimoy from Star Trek. From Star Trek, well, we, yeah. yeah. That part we definitely know. Yeah, right. But that's that, yeah. The nature of the, the nature of the system is that it's designed to control the people, to use us as tools and slaves, and we are being used as tools and slaves. We work our asses off. We get to a certain level, but then they say that's that's the that's the height. And some of us, the few of us, you know, we squeeze through. We make a little money. We become you know multimillionaires and billionaires. But there's still the premise of what that means like the money is now all that we're supposed to be striving for and that's where we're falling short because the natural order of things is not being considered which is why not only are people being raped and and used and abused but the actual resources of the planet are being used and abused they know that it's causing damage but not stopping sure all is. companies right like o across OPEC. the board i'm so happy you got your seat back 